reporting live during Christmas time at the Scarborough Town Center. It's live for last week episode 104. Let's go! Welcome my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning after waking up at 5 a.m. I started the day early by boiling some water on the Saga's gas stove so that I can make some of this luxurious tea that I found in one of the cabinets of this renovated kitchen. And going back to last week's episode, where the wife and I did this tradition of freezing our wedding cake over the past year and saved it to eat it after our one year anniversary, I quietly snuck a peek inside the fridge for a midnight slash morning snack and decided to cut off a piece of that wedding cake to eat while everybody else in the house was sleeping. And obviously, once again, just like last week, I just had to do this while watching the video of my very own wedding cutting cake ceremony in the background. Then, after spending several hours until lunchtime editing some Live From Last Week videos, the wife and I made our way back to Scarborough while watching the World Cup semi-final game between Argentina and Croatia. And while we were in Scarbs, we went to a restaurant that we frequented several times in the past. Which you guys know is, of course, the perfect Chinese restaurant. Meeting up with our friends, Ramos and Joey, and getting some delicious Chinese food. But most importantly, I used this time to bond with Joey and catch the Argentina versus Croatia game on the wife's phone. With my boy Messi converting on this gorgeous penalty kick. Yeah! Helping set up this marvelous, magical goal. And eventually leading Argentina to win 3 to nothing over Luka Modric and Croatia to advance to the 2022 World Cup Finals on Sunday. We all then continued our double date and went to Om Escape Scarborough to try out a level 4 out of 5 escape room called the Red Admiral. Where unfortunately we were just one puzzle away from finishing the mission before time ran out. And although we didn't beat the level, we all still had a great time. So once again, special thanks to the wife and Ramos for organizing this. And I'm really looking forward to a redemption escape room sometime in the near future. So after signing off with you guys yesterday evening, while watching hockey on TV, I witnessed some history. Where after capping off his hat trick for the night, Alexander Ovechkin had scored his historic 800th NHL goal. And now, on to this morning, where I woke up to have my second breakfast in a row, eating my wedding cake from last year. I didn't stop at just taking one wedding cake slice, but was greedy and took two slices instead. But carrying on to this afternoon, where the wife had surprised me with this ramen soup noodle package. Of which was from one of our favorite Japanese restaurants when we went to Japan several years ago. Some world famous... Ichiran Ramen, which I was able to enjoy while watching the semi-final World Cup game between Morocco and France. Oh! Oh! Oh, I got post! But alas, the Cinderella story of the Moroccan side has come to an end after defeating teams like Belgium, Spain, and Portugal on the way to the semi-finals. As France advanced to the World Cup final on Sunday, defeating the Moroccan side today, 2 to nothing. Anyways, before I go in for a set of 4 shifts in the next 5 nights, and enjoy this beautiful Scarborough sunset from the views of the condo, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of the nicest elementary school friends and high school friends that I made while I was younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you Alyssa, happy birthday Alyssa. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. This afternoon, post night shift nap, I got a knock on my door with a suspicious FedEx package at my doorstep. 
but I'm thinking I kind of know what it is, which is possibly an online order that I made and forgot about over a month ago. So I'm thinking I just might leave it here at the Christmas tree and gift wrap it on my day off for me to open on Christmas Day. And while we're here at the Christmas tree, mentioning these scenes from last week's birthday party at Ronnie's, where my Ate Anna took this nice classic holiday Polaroid of the wife and I, which will now have a place as a new Christmas ornament on our Christmas tree. But switching gears onto a couple of our parking jobs that I saw pre-night shift last night, where this car was parked outside of their lines, which caused me to park the Mini slightly slanted as well. Then coming back to the Mini this morning after my shift, I saw that this parking job further affected our neighboring cars to park slanted as well. So this is just a quick public service announcement to make sure that you guys park your cars straight and within the lines so that we can all together avoid messy parking jobs like this one in the future. And now onto my morning commute home where I saw outside the Mini's window that it was becoming a little bit stormy outside with a special weather advisory that the GTA might be seeing a little snowstorm later this evening. You can see how last night's clear, beautiful view has slowly evolved into a winter wonderland this afternoon. Anyways, before going for my second night shift and commute carefully in this snow, I just have a couple of quick birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my old Wysik friends who I still owe a DVD of the pursuit of happiness to. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. And secondly, a quick birthday greeting to a friend that I made before first year university when I went to a first aid slash CPR class with them. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jessica. Happy birthday, Jess. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So this morning, after going grocery shopping and bringing my groceries home in a box rather than in plastic bags, I realized that in order for my holiday wedding cards to reach my family in the US, since it takes about a week to arrive there, I had to mail these babies by this morning. And so, just like when I was younger, being pen pal buddies and writing weekly letters to them, I wrote a wedding card to my Manang Meribi and my Manang Ed and hand delivered it to the Canada Post mail delivery man on his morning rounds. It also reminded me to once again congratulate my Manung Ed on his newly published children's book, Nero Needs a Friend. Of which I'll post a link in the description below for you guys to support my Manung Ed in his endeavors and purchase this book for one of your young loved ones to read and share. And now on to this afternoon, after getting a less than stellar post night shift nap, since tomorrow I'm planning to go to a work holiday party for the first time in more than three years, where I usually play photographer and take photos. For the first time since 2020, I broke out the BBC, AKA the DSLR camera, and I went through the SD card, seeing memories of photos from events that I took in the past. Which also included this do-it-yourself engagement photo shoot that the wife and I had at the condo, as well as the engagement party that we had a couple years back with some of her close friends. I was also able to find my beloved external flash from a Facebook marketplace purchase that I made before the pandemic, which as you guys can see here, still takes marvelous photos and works like a charm. But before I get to partying tomorrow, I have one more night shift to go in for tonight, as well as several birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out, going out to one of my high school friends back at St. Stephen's. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Samantha. Happy birthday, Gus. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my first year roomies going to Ryerson back when I was living at 2H at Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you, staff. Happy birthday, staff. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my longtime friends back in childhood, hanging out with him on Avondale Drive. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Trevor. Happy birthday, Trevor. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to my cousin with whom one day I hope to check out the US Open with in New York City. This birthday shout out goes out to the one and only Panda. Happy birthday, Marvin. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after coming off a busy night shift this morning, I just couldn't stay asleep. So I decided to turn on the laptop and watch the third place game of the World Cup between Croatia and Morocco. With, as you guys can see here, some of the best goals of the tournament so far. 
and having Croatia take the bronze medal game two to one. But moving on, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my FSAT friends who did runs at the Toronto Zoo back in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. And the next birthday greeting of the day goes out to one of my former co-workers who is FT while I'm always PT, who also made a previous cameo on a Live From Last Week episode in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Cheryl. Happy birthday, Cheryl. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, another reason why I couldn't sleep earlier. This evening, a couple of co-workers and I are going to our first holiday party in years. So, we're planning to celebrate some good times at our co-workers place. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, come, in. come in, come in. Sorry, the next one. The pizza's cold or the no, food? Outside. Oh. Ooh, that's a pepperoni and this is the non pepperoni. Veggie! <laughs> Ooh, a close up of those hands. Look at those veins. <laughs> I need a 20 gauge. <laughs> or 16 maybe. Alright. All right. Anybody wants to cheers or yeah. speech? One, two, three. Cheers! Then head over to the boroughs at Queen and Bathurst to celebrate our yearly holiday party. After an amazing night out with my co-workers last night when you say, I want it that way. Wrapping up things at around 3 a.m. And staying over on a couch at Gomez's place to pass out until the morning I woke up at around 7.30 to drive the wife home from her night shift After taking a quick breathalyzer test where you guys can see the results right here she told me that she was unable to drive the Mini since she had just broken her beloved glasses. Glasses that she had worn day in and day out over the past couple of years. So eventually after arriving home, we made this quick temporary fix to her glasses until she can get some new ones over the holidays. Anyways guys, before I go in for my fourth night shift in the span of five nights, if you haven't already heard, today we have the 2022 World Cup finals game between Argentina led by my boy Lionel Messi going up against France with their footballing superstar Kylian Mbappe in what should be a great World Cup match for the ages. So after catching the World Cup 2022 finals match yesterday in what some would say was the greatest finals football match in history with my heart going through every single heart rhythm shown here in this meme while watching the most exciting football match ever I had to be quiet and subdue some of my reactions since I had the wife in between her night shifts take her post night shift nap right beside me.
But either way, I just wanted to congratulate my boy Messi and the 2022 Argentinian Men's World Cup football team. Congratulations on winning the 2022 World Cup. But moving on to today, after getting my post-night shift nap in, I'm here at the Scarborough Town Center to visit for the first time since this episode of Live From Last Week to help the wife get a new replacement set of glasses and replace the broken ones that she had from earlier this week. But anyways, before I go and do some Christmas shopping and leave you guys for the day, I just have a couple of birthday greetings. Starting off with an old Weissig buddy who used to throw the best steamer parties back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you Assad. Happy birthday aside. Next up, a birthday shout out to a university friend who, when I lived downtown, I used to visit back at Shoppers at the Eaton Center. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jana. Happy birthday, Jana. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my longtime beach volleyball friends, who you guys know has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week videos. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Roxy. Happy birthday, Roxy. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And sorry to say guys, but this week's Live From Last Week episode wraps up right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalk or POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.